If you're having joint pain or you have rheumatoid arthritis and you think you know everything about the rheumatoid arthritis labs, then this video will surprise you. I am Dr. Micah Yu, board certified rheumatologist and also board certified in integrative medicine. And in this channel, we talk about autoimmune disease, integrative medicine, and functional medicine and beyond. So you think you have rheumatoid arthritis and you go to your primary care doctor or your rheumatologist and they run the rheumatoid arthritis labs. Usually that's rheumatoid factor and CCP antibodies. But what exactly are these labs? And are there any other labs that we can get besides these two which are so common? There are in fact newer labs available. Before we begin, I would truly appreciate it if you guys can like this video and hit the subscribe button so that you can support my efforts in promoting integrative medicine with autoimmune disease. First of all, let's start with the basics. What is rheumatoid factor and what are CCP antibodies? So rheumatoid factor is pretty much an antibody that forms against another portion of another antibody called IgG. And a positive rheumatoid factor is positive in about 4% of healthy individuals. So just because you have a rheumatoid factor that's positive does not equate to rheumatoid arthritis. 100% of the time. You need the clinical symptoms to match up with the positive lab. And rheumatoid arthritis has, of course, from positive rheumatoid factor, but the rheumatoid factor is not only positive in rheumatoid arthritis, it can be positive in other diseases as well, including lupus, Sjogren's, HIV, primary biliary cirrhosis, sarcoidosis, tuberculosis, cancer, viral infections, bacterial infections, cryoglobulinemia, and so forth. So as you see here, rheumatoid factor can be positive in so many other conditions besides rheumatoid arthritis. However, on the flip side, CCP antibodies are very specific for rheumatoid arthritis. So if you see that positive, then we are thinking about rheumatoid arthritis. But once again, if the CCP antibodies are positive, but the patient doesn't have the clinical symptoms to match with rheumatoid arthritis, then we cannot diagnose rheumatoid arthritis. We can say that the patient is at risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis, but you can't really give that diagnosis unless there's clinical symptoms involved. What do CCP antibodies even stand for? It's called anti-citrullinated protein antibody. It's a mouthful and I had to look at it again, even though I order these all the time, sometimes I can't remember the full name. So what exactly is this? Let's talk about some basic science concepts here. So CCP antibodies form when the antibodies form against proteins that are being citrullinated. Citrullination is a process that turns arginine, the amino acid, into citrulline, which is another amino acid. So that can get quite confusing here and it does take some research and reading education to truly understand that. But certainly go on Google, look up arginine, and look at citrulline, and look at what they look like molecularly. And when you have CCP antibodies that are positive, it's specific from 88 to 96%. If you have a positive CCP antibody, you can confidently say that with about 90 96% accuracy that this is rheumatoid arthritis. All right, let's talk about the antibodies that you may not heard of. Number one, is the 14.3.3 ETA protein. And I order this for my patients all the time. This protein, 14.3.3 ETA protein, is usually used to detect early RA. So, of course, you've heard of the concept seronegative rheumatoid arthritis, which I talk about in this video here between seropositive versus seronegative rheumatoid arthritis. So if you get that rheumatoid factor and CCP antibody and they're negative, it doesn't mean that you have seronegative rheumatoid arthritis. Your doctor should get the 14.3.3 ETA protein to see whether you have early RA or not. Another lab that can detect RA is called anti-CAR-P. Anti-CAR-P antibodies are also used to detect rheumatoid arthritis. So if those three labs are negative, sometimes I also get the anti-CAR-P or I get all four at the same time. Now, not all of these labs are obtained on every single lab in the world or in the United States. Different labs have different labs that you can get. So different lab companies have different labs you can get. Some of them have anti-CAR-P 
I know the advice test has it, but not all other lab companies have it. So I would say that if you have a high suspicion for rheumatoid arthritis and your rheumatoid factor and CCP antibodies are negative, you can suggest to your doctor to get the 14.3.3 ETA protein or the anti-carpy as well, or get both. Why not? With those four labs, that should be a pretty comprehensive workup for rheumatoid arthritis. Of course, there's gonna be more labs come out in the future and I'll keep you up to date on that as the research gets more progressive. So if you feel like you got something out of this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.